Prophet Muhammad a mercy to the world. His steadfastness. The Apostle of God was persevering and steadfast to the utmost degree. For example, when Abu Talib informed him of what the Quraysh had been plotting for him and for the clan of Hashim in general, he said, O oh, uncle, if they were to put the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left hand on condition that I forgo this mission of prophethood, I would not forgo it until God makes it prevail or I perish in the process. He would encourage the first Muslims to stand up to opposition and to stay with the truth and would say, there were those before you whose flesh and nerves would be raked to the bone with steel rakes, and they would not relinquish their religion, and saws would be placed upon the middle of their heads, and they would be sawn in two, and they would not relinquish their religion. God will fulfill this mission until one will be able to ride from Sana'a to Hadr al maut fearing nothing but God and the wolf for his flocks, but you are too hasty. When he visited the city of Ta'if, he was treated in the worst possible manner by the people of the city, who incited the children and slaves against him, and they began stoning him until wherever he put his feet there was a stone, and they split open his head and wounded his body. However, he did no more than pray and supplicate to God Almighty, saying, O God, to you I complain of my weakness and my lack of means and my insignificance in the eyes of the people. O most merciful one, you are the Lord of the enfeebled ones, and you are my Lord. To whom will you deliver me? To an enemy from afar who is scowling at me, or an enemy whom you have given dominion over my affair? As long as your anger is not upon me, then I do not care, although your protection I prefer. His most difficult days were during the battles of Uhud and al ahzab In the Battle of Uhud, the Muslims were rooted by the forces of polytheism after they had disobeyed the orders given by the Prophet Muhammad. No one remained at the heart of the fighting except the Apostle of God, Imam Ali, and certain sincere companions. The Prophet of God was severely injured, his nose was broken and his face was split open, and he lost large amounts of blood until false news spread that he had died. Despite this, however, he remained steadfast until God put an end to the adversity. In the campaign of Ahzab, the believers were under extreme pressure, which the Holy Quran speaks of, saying, And when they came upon you from above you and from below you, and when your eyes trembled and your hearts came into your mouths, and you began to have doubtful thoughts about God, there the believers were tested and were shaken most severely. The Muslims were in danger of being annihilated by the army of the Confederates, Ahzab, who had lain siege to Medina, and the Apostle of God witnessed all this, which was of such severity that the perseverance of great men vanquished before it. However, the Apostle of God remained steadfast and optimistic of victory during this trial, and rose above it with his endurance. And by this he gave hope to the believers and raised their spirits, and gave them strength and strengthened their trust in Almighty God. He made plans to confront the situation with the utmost poise and determination until God gave victory to his servant and apostle and defeated the Confederates himself. <laughs>